How's it going guys? My name is Jimmy Champagne. I hope you had a great 4th of July. So I wasn't going to bring my camera home for this vacation, but at the very last second I decided to throw it in my backpack and I'm glad I did because there's some huge Halloween news to talk about. And that's why, that's why there's, I'm not in my set. I'm, I'm home in Michigan. That's why I'm outside. Ignore the birds. They're really loud. Anyway, so going back over a month to one of the first Halloween sequel videos I made, I said the rumor I heard was that they'd be filming two sequels back to back for one to release next year and the other one to release in 2021. We've gotten a ton of updates since then and none of them said whether or not this was true so I figured it either wasn't true or they were still hammering out the details. But just this morning my friend Brad Miska over at Bloody Disgusting posted an article that not only confirms this rumor but blows it up even bigger. The first and most important thing to me is that he confirmed that David Gordon Green is coming back to direct next year's movie but on top of that he's also directing the sequel. He also confirmed the release date of next October for Halloween 2 but the biggest news story here is that Halloween 3 which is actually Halloween 4 I guess isn't coming out in 2021, it's coming out one month after Halloween 2. That was especially crazy for me to hear because sometime last year I heard a rumor that that was the plan for Halloween 2018. They were going to go in, shoot two movies, and release them a month apart and it would be one complete story. And Brad's article backs that up by saying that really was the plan going into Halloween 2018, but the reason they scrapped the idea is of course because they had to go back and reshoot the ending. And while this is definitely a rumor, there is a ton of evidence to back it up. First, we know this movie's getting more time to film because they're starting to shoot in September of this year instead of January of next year like they did with Halloween 2018. That basically gives them at least four extra months to shoot two movies back to back and that makes sense to me. And on top of that, the original shape himself, Nick Castle, has been tweeting out hints all weekend. The first cool thing he put out was a white poster featuring Michael Myers and the number two in red. So everyone just thought that meant it was Halloween 2, but now it seems like he's teasing that there's going to be two movies. And then last night he let everyone know on Twitter that he's going to be at a convention this weekend called Halloween in July and he'll be telling everyone something that John Carpenter confirmed to him. Now, of course, announcing a sequel to Halloween 2018 is big on its own, but the idea of announcing that there's going to be two sequels to that movie at a convention is just absolutely mind-blowing. A lot of you asked me in the comments on my last Halloween video if I thought Nick Castle would be coming back along with James Jude Courtney, and honestly, I didn't think Nick Castle would be coming back for the sequel because last year's movie was like a 40th anniversary big event, and they wanted us to know that they were doing it right, so they brought him in for a few cool callback shots, but this is a sequel to that, so I didn't think they'd bring him back just to do a few shots, but if he is going to be at a convention this weekend to announce something, he's probably coming back for at least a little bit of the movie, and that's awesome. This is really exciting news to me because we'll finally have a Halloween trilogy where the third movie isn't completely disconnected from the movie that came before it, and it won't be made so far down the line that it feels totally different from the movie that came before, like Halloween to Halloween 2 to H2O, or Halloween 4 to 5 and then 6, which came out later and was completely different in tone and just overall style than 4 and 5. I also think since we know that Jamie Lee Curtis, Judy Greer, and Andy Matichek are all coming back, they're going to double down on the fact that Michael doesn't care about killing any of them specifically. What I think is going to happen is they're going to realize Michael's alive and they're going to team up and hunt him down for good. One thing that obviously scares me about filming two sequels back to back is that they're not going to get adequate time to make them. Obviously they'll have enough time to shoot them because they're filming in the same locations, they're going in with one story idea, but I don't know how they would have enough time to edit two movies to release a month apart next year. It feels like they would have had to start shooting this or at least editing it a long time ago. One benefit they're definitely losing here is that if something needs to be changed after a test screening of Halloween 2, for example, they can't really easily go back and do that because if you change Halloween 2, you also have to do a reshoot for Halloween 3 because the stories are so closely connected and the movies are releasing so close together. It sounds very challenging. But if that was the idea for Halloween 2018, they obviously had a plan to do this and they're pretty confident in their ability to do so, so I just want to wait and see what happens and I guess figure out if this is actually happening before jumping to any conclusions. Regardless though guys, I'll definitely be back with another video this weekend all about whatever Nick Castle announces at this convention. So subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you today. So as always, my name is Jimmy Champagne and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.